The tracings are made of the bifolia to record location of uh, adhesive deposits along the spine fold, um, the location of thread fragments um, that might exist from previous stages of binding. Uh, there are other paper fibers um, on the surface of the parchment, uh, such as here. There's actually fragments of a green paper, um, which is very curious. Um, there are adhesive residues um, in some locations. Um, and all the bifolia are actually covered with wax deposits, um, which um, we are removing um, so that the imaging um, is more successful. Um, this bifolium um, is the only one in the manuscript where the Archimedes text was cut, so the Archimedes leaf was cut with the um, going parallel to the Euclopian. So this is actually the spine fold of the original Archimedes manuscript with the um, sewing holes here. Um, we're not really sure why um, this bifolium was cut in this way, but I think probably it had to do with the fact that the original Archimedes manuscript, um, this particular bifolium may have been in poor condition, so they decided to cut it, cut the sheet out of the center of the page. Um, so you have both um, layers of text running parallel to each other. So I overlay this um, tissue And because uh, I've got mylar on top of the leaf, right. um, I'm just cutting out the little repair patch with right. a swivel knife. Exaggerate that's it. Oops. This is off. That's okay. okay. Thank you.